This video demonstrates how to remove and replace the core of a FastTest Cormax access valve. To properly do this, six tools are required. A torque wrench, eight foot-pounds of torque will be required, a FastTest core removal tool, which has a part number of SCFT20A, FastTest replacement valves, which have the part number SCCA07H, a half-inch deep well socket, a 5 ace backing wrench, and finally, you will need lubricant. FastTest recommends a POE, or polyester oil or compressor compatible oil. To begin the core replacement process, remove the existing valve cap. Next, connect the core removal tool to the Cormax valve seat by pulling back the silver sleeve on the removal tool. Push forward so the seat hex is securely inside the hex pattern of the removal tool. The silver sleeve will release forward when attached properly. Push the stem of the removal tool forward until it engages the valve. Once the tool is securely attached to the valve, rotate the silver handle on the back of the tool counterclockwise until the valve is screwed all the way out of the seat. Pull the stem of the removal tool out until it cannot be pulled back any further. Close the removal tool's valve to isolate the system by rotating the lever clockwise 90 degrees. Remove the back of the removal tool to access the old valve. Remove the old access valve from the stem of the tool and discard. Next, take a new valve and lubricate the O-ring on the end using the POE oil. Insert the new lubricated valve into the stem of the core removal tool with the O-ring end exposed at the end of the stem. Once the valve has been securely placed in the stem, insert the back end of the tool into the body of the removal tool, which is still attached to the system, and rotate the back end clockwise until the front and back ends of the service tool are reconnected. Once the tool has been securely reconnected with the new Cormax access valve in it, open the tool valve. Next, to insert the new Cormax access valve, push the stem of the removal tool forward and rotate the handle clockwise until the handle will not turn anymore. Once the Cormax valve has been completely inserted and hand tightened in place with the tool, pull back the silver sleeve to disconnect the removal tool from the new Cormax access valve. To complete the replacement process, insert the exposed valve into the half-inch socket and torque wrench. Use a 5 8 inch backing wrench to hold the back of the Cormax in place and prevent possible braze damage. Rotate the half-inch socket and torque wrench counterclockwise until tightened to 8 foot-pounds of torque and then remove the tools. Finally, replace the cap on the new valve. The Cormax access valve has now been replaced. For more information, please visit www.fasttestinc.com.